Okay, hello. So I'm going to tell you about my course, and it's free on YouTube. So how to combine traditional and digital art. So learn Autodesk's 3ds Max, Sketchbook Pro, and traditional drawing techniques to create a great expressive artwork. I'm really excited about this course. I really want you to learn some of these techniques that I've developed and I use. So that's why I'm putting it on YouTube, and I want you to look at them, and I want you to be inspired by my artwork. In this complete course, you will learn the digital techniques of Autodesk's 3ds Max, Sketchbook Pro, and also expressive traditional drawing techniques. I will take you through the entire process of one of my unique artworks that mixes the digital with the traditional. So in this course, you will learn about my own entire creative process involved in this artwork, and the phrase I keep using in other pres uh, presentations and and screencasters learn by doing learn by watching what i'm doing but apply what i'm doing to what you're doing emulate what i'm doing a bit even copy a bit you don't, don't don't you know don't copy make copies of my art but copy what i'm doing try to learn yeah and then learn yourself and evolve your own work um, learn and the course will also help you learn how to use Autodesk's 3ds Max 2014. Other versions are relevant, you know, from 2009 to 20 to 2015. All these um, 3ds Max versions are relevant. Um, I'm using 2015 at the moment, but it's, you know, don't worry. Learn how to sketch expressively and boldly using traditional methods, and then import this into the computer for digital editing with the images created in 3ds Max. So you're making the 3ds Max images, then you're doing traditional methods, then you're going to combine that in um, Autodesk Sketchbook Pro. So you'll learn how to use this as well. Um, you'll learn how to, to combine, develop, and edit the 3D graphics work and the traditional drawing to create a tradigital artwork. That's a bit of a corny name, but um, but then it goes. It's been invented before. It's, it's quite appropriate, though. Trad digital, you know, traditional digital. Okay, we'll we'll move on from that. So this is what I will create during this course. So firstly, you're seeing the wireframes of the scene. The the scene's a New York scene. It's um, Times Square. It's um, I recently went on a trip to New York. I love New York, and the street scenes are so alive. And if you know my work, you'll see. A lot of street scenes and then I do the render and then I build it up with people and then um, the final work is built up to this and that's using Sketchbook Pro um, the traditional tradi traditional drawing and the 3d graphics behind um, this work um, if you see this work on my website the final piece might be different because as with most artists I always like to add and works never finished but this is the finished piece of work for the tutorial the creative process and techniques I use will inspire you to create and evolve your own works mixing traditional drawing with digital imagery. What you'll need for this course, so quickly go through this. Pens, paper, pencil type of camera, you know, for traditional drawing and recording the drawing. Autodesk Sketchbook Pro, other versions okay, um, you know, later or um, previous versions okay. Alternatives are possible. What I mean by alter alternatives are other software such as Photoshop. I'd recommend looking at Krita, K-R-I-T-A. It's a free um, software and it's very similar to Autodesk Sketchbook Pro. I have some screencasts on my YouTube channel I'm using this, so if you d don't have Sketchbook Pro or you don't own it or you don't want to use or don't, can't use or don't want to use the 30-day trial of it, have a look at Krita. Um, ask me as well. Um, 3D animation software, Autodesk's 3ds Max 2014. Again, other versions, okay, you know, 2009 up to 2015 or whatever date you're watching this is okay. I use 2015 now, but for this um, tutorial I started in 2014. So I finished in um, 3ds Max 2014 version. Alternatives, again, possible. Um, Autodesk um, 3ds Max has a 30-day trial, but you can also use... Um, other software such as Maya, um, Cinema 4D. Um, I'd also recommend if you cannot or don't want to use the 30-day trail of Max or you don't own Max, the Max license, 
Um, have a look at Blender. I've taught with Blender and I do use it occasionally and I'm going to use it for more screencasts and it's free and it's open source. It's, it's amazing. An amazing time we live in to get a free software like this. Um, so drawing tablet is best and a mouse. Some basic knowledge at least of 3D and 2D digital art packages. Now if you're not sure about this just have a look at some aspects of the course and I'm sure you'll learn anything even if you know very very little. Okay, But you can you can be an advanced user and you can still learn from me, okay? Um, and also you need a computer powerful enough for 3D graphics and 2D editing multimedia. So most multimedia gaming computers can use 3D to, to in an okay standard for what we're doing here today, okay? So we're not doing really photorealistic high poly work. We're doing more stylized work for 2D editing. Okay, moving on. Who is this course for? So it's for artists, okay, people who want to make art, perhaps traditional artists that want to use digital work, for example, designers, you know, try to visualize products in, a, in an expressive way using both 3D graphics and then taking traditional drawing and adding things in Sketchbook Pro. Architects, again, for the same reason as above. Um, enthusiasts, if you're enthusiasts, I prefer to call people enthusiasts, not hobbyists. Um, you know, go ahead, make your graphic novel, your animation, and you may become a professional in inverted comments, whatever that means. Illustrators, again, for the same reasons. Um, portfolio preparation. If you're preparing for an art school or a digital art course, feel welcome to use this course to help you. You can also contact me if you want um, some advice with that. Um, this course is for all levels, as I said. And after this course, you'll be able to use what you have learned to develop and evolve your own creative artworks. So the contents. This is a bit long-winded, but if you want to know the contents, stick with me or just move on to the first tutorial. So Lecture 1, Introduction, Aims, Objectives and Outcome. You're actually watching Lecture 1, so um, you, you've completed that already, almost. Um, lecture 2. Site trip, sketching, and composition development. This is all about sketching and traditional sketching using pen and ink and paper. And um, I talk you through some of the processes I use when developing a composition. Um, lecture three, working in 3D and your way around 3ds Max, basic controls. So it's kind of a primer for um, 3ds Max. Blocking out the scene in 3D. So this is when I start to add blocks of, around the 3D scene just to just to block it in, get the composition going, etc, etc. Lecture 5, so you'll see me detailing, making a poly model, details of a few hero objects in 3ds Max. So this is how to add detail into some of your models, and I'll be using poly tools, which is a really good modeling system in 3D Studio Max. Okay? Um, render setup, lighting, the scene, and materials. There's some complex things to do with this. Um, lighting in 3D Studio Max, I use the daylight system very good, but we also have to use the exposure controls, so I'd recommend this lesson for lighting. Um, lecture 7, layers and using populate to add people. So I look into the layers in 3ds Max and also um, how to use the populate plugin or the populate tool in 3D Studio Max to add people. It's a really great plugin and it's, um, it's very easy. Um, the final 3D tweak, which means uh, time-lapse of the um, the, the end process when I move things around a bit, again, trying to be a perfectionist. Um, lecture 9, render settings and render the scene, size. So what you have to put in to render it, to, to do the correct size, and other factors such as global illumination. Um, and um, we, we're trying to render this out as a real print, so it's rendered quite large. Um, lecture 10, is my approach to traditional drawing um, and I've put energy. I like to draw with energy. So you'll see me drawing on real paper and um, and that should be fun, I guess. <laughs> um, lecture 11, draw, 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 drawings time lapse. So this is me drawing again and again and again um, to try to get the composition finished for the digital artwork. Um, lecture 12, choosing the best ones and editing the drawings for 2D. So again, this is choosing the best, the best, the, the, the traditional drawings that I think are best to take into um, digital format for 2D editing. Um, lecture 13, working in 2D and working in Sketchbook Pro, basic control, so it's a primer for Sketchbook Pro. Lecture 14, bringing in the layers um, from the different, you know, from 3D Studio Max renders and also the layers from 
the traditional drawings, developing and editing in Sketchbook Pro, and Lecture 15, final thoughts and output to print or digital, and I put at the end, remember your copyright. So these are all the lectures. You don't have to do them all, actually. You can just pick some of them that you, some aspects that you want to learn, for example, um, traditional drawing or, um, you know, lighting, render setup. Okay, so put in a little message here. So let the fun begin. Okay, so I'll see you in the next, well, I probably won't see you, but I'll speak to you um, in the next lecture. Okay, speak soon. Bye.